VR is the closest that you will get to be able to be out of your own body and completely in a creative space to be able to create whatever it is that you want. And that's what we're going to do today and hopefully this is the way that we'll be able to create some um, amazing things by the end of the day. So, Project Backpack. Now I've done the spiel of why and how we've got here. This is just a taste of some some fantastic teams working on three separate projects, two on scol for scoliosis, but we also had the amazing Emma, who is our occupational therapist, who talked with every single team to make sure that what they were creating was useful and relevant and helpful in the long term. This kind of technology could really change the lives, I think, of people, like particularly with disabilities, and to enable them in everyday life. I mean, this is just the start, I think, of how it's going to be applied, so. It's exciting times and I'm so happy to be here. So we had a model of Jess in on the program and it showed the curves in her spine. So the idea was to make something flat so that she could put a laptop in her backpack and it wouldn't knock around. Pink pouch, some like sparkly glitter and stuff like that. So it's a bit more girly. Straps as well, just for like waist cards and bank cards. And we added these two straps at the front so that it would take some of the weight off her back in case she wanted yep. to carry her groceries home in it as well as her laptop. So I have quite a severe scoliosis on my spine and backpacks rest at the bottom of my back which is not great because that's the weakest part of my back. So we decided to go above the weakest part and do a tiny backpack and lean it on the left shoulder because that's where the weight is better for me. So we used the gravity sketch in there to look at uh, the size. We looked at the the, um, the position of the second set of wheels such that we could either lift it off the ground if necessary or have it both in, in contact. And he wanted it to go on ground, off ground, be used in different formats. That's why we added a, a, a section at the top. So it isn't actually a bag, but it's, it's a transport. A trolley. And the idea is to keep it very simple, keep it very cheap to make and therefore more accessible for people to buy uh, uh, when it then becomes a, a product. I could drop them into Gravity Sketch, drag them out, use the mirror function, you know, drag them in and out, change the angles at them uh, very easily to get the idea of what you might want to custom fit that to someone. It does stretch <laughs> out as well. Uh, another thing, I, I do some work Ooh. with a Paralympian, wow. Paralympian that. archer that when they go to competitions they have to go on many grounds and they have to shoot over 70 metres on grass. He is not allowed to use anybody to move his equipment to his station. Um, even pulling arrows, he has to then wheel across the grass and pull the arrows. 